My name is Jason, and we're gonna take you through the Z console and all the different elements and the different uh, zones and the different functions of the Z console. So I'm gonna ask our rider to start riding, start pedaling. The console should automatically turn on. And the great thing is it starts out in the standard mode. And if you're accustomed to riding on Schwinn bikes, there's gonna be a lot of things that you are accustomed to seeing. In the standard mode, you automatically see your power that you're generating, wattage, you see your RPMs. You Right below that, if you are a gear rider or you're a gear studio, you will see the gear that you're riding in. You also see automatically it starts to accumulate your totals, your total average of your power, your distance, and the time that you've been riding. Now, this is where the Z console really gets different. It's really exciting. Personalization. Simply by pressing the personalization button at the top, which looks like a cog, you can start by personalizing your FTP or your functional threshold power if you're a data-driven rider. Hit it one more time. If you know your max heart rate, you've done that type of testing, you can do heart rate training. Also, very important because we all love data, you can pair your heart rate device like a MyZone device, a Garmin or a Polar device, or hold one second, even your app, you can do external apps like a Strava or a Zwift. But what's so unique about this is we have a tap to pair. If you have an Apple Watch or you have a Samsung Galaxy Watch, all you have to do is simply hover your Apple Watch. Now you can do it. You hear a little beep, beep, beep. Then you have to press OK on your watch. And now your Apple Watch is automatically connected to the bike. In a moment, you'll see heart rate will be showing up. Now we're still in the standard screen there's going to be a point where your instructor is going to decide what type of training they want to do. With a simple push of the mode button, which is the center button, we go right into the rhythm zone. Now you might have noticed there's some beautiful lights on the front forks of the bike, but as the rider, you don't have to look down at that. All you simply have to do is look at what we call the tachometer or the color zone meter. In the rhythm mode, simply by matching your RPM, to the color zone or the RPM zone that the instructor is asking for, everybody will be in the same color. So if I say I want everybody riding 80 to 90 RPM or in the orange zone, you pedal up to 80, 90 and you're in the orange zone. And if I say I want you to do a sprint and get 95 plus, you're gonna be up in red and everybody is gonna be aligned and in unison with their colors. Simple rhythm mode. Great if you just want to ride along to the beat of the music and just have this great experience of color. Now, if the coach wants to take this into a bit more of a data-driven ride, remember we talked about functional threshold power. At any time in your ride, you can press the personalization button. And my rider said that her functional threshold power is 125. So we're going to take it down to 125. You don't have to hit anything else. It'll automatically, after a few seconds, go right back to your ride. Now the coach is gonna say, five, four, three, two, it'll get there. There we go, now we're back. It's got that 125 functional threshold power. The coach is gonna tell you to hit the mode button, and now we're in the functional threshold power training zone. You know, because right there it says percentage of FTP. And there's a couple new things on the screen that we'll walk you through in a moment. But the most important thing is that you now see up here where it says FTP and it says a percentage. The color zones are directly gonna correlate with the FTP percentage. So if the coach says, I want everybody in the green zone, I know that the, oh, you're going a little hard. The green zone is gonna be right about 60% of your FTP. And if the coach says, I want you working harder, I want everybody to be closer to 90 to 100% of their FTP, it's gonna take you up into the orange zone. It's a nuance and you will learn it about what is personal to you. Now you notice there's some new things on this screen. We have trophies over here on the right side. The trophies are an average power accumulation. It's what actually is a rolling average power for one minute for five minutes or for 20 minutes. We haven't been on the bike for five minutes yet, so you only see the one minute power, and then pretty soon we're gonna actually see the five minute power is gonna be showing up. 
What's so unique about this is it gives the coach an opportunity to give you something as a goal. What if I said, I want you for the next minute to try to beat your one minute power. Everybody has a unique goal to go after. The blinking light shows you that you're on track to beat your one minute power. And when it blinks really, really fast, it means we're in the last few seconds to lock in that power. And it means you're winning, which is always good. If you're accustomed to using the Schwinn Echelon consoles, you'll notice that where's our stages? Well, the great thing is right down here with the stage button, and this is something that's new. You hit it once and we're in our current stage. And I'm gonna ask my rider just to ride for about 15 seconds. Once we get to that 15 second mark, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we're gonna cue everybody to hit the stage button and it locks in your current stage. No longer do you have to remember any numbers because now when we go to do our next comparison, I'm gonna ask my rider to hit their stage button and you'll see that the last data from the last stage moves over to the left and is frozen and you're doing a comparison. Can you beat your average power from the last stage? You've got three, two, one, hit it. You're a winner, you beat your average power. That's the FTP stage. Now, if you're doing heart rate training, if you have a heart rate device, you paired your heart rate device, if the coach wants to do heart rate training in the same way, the tachometer, you see percentage of heart rate, the tachometer is now based on the what the max heart rate was that you programmed in. So right now, if you're at 149 BPM, your heart rate, you're now riding in the orange zone. If I wanted you to back it off a little bit, go a little bit easier, bring your heart rate down just a bit. And remember, heart rate takes the time to adjust, and now she's in the yellow zone. Heart rate training. That is all the wonderful things that you need to know about the Zine console. You obviously still have your average and max buttons, and now average and max is gonna show up right here on the right side. You'll see it says max, and it holds. That's your max power, your average power. And that's the Z console. Ride right.